I'm gonna use Chanel White Alumier Aqua Foundation as my base. It is in B10. Hopefully you can see all the colors and what I'm doing properly because it's evening and I don't have a proper lighting at all. I think it's quite bad. Just bear with me. So I'm applying it with my fingers. Because you can achieve the best application uh, applying this foundation with the fingers. Most natural at least. So it just gives an even base to my skin. It looks like looks like nothing. Looks like I'm not wearing any foundation actually. I'm gonna try and zoom in a little. For my under eyes, I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer in Porcelain. And just pat it in with my fingers to brighten the under eye area. I don't know, today I kind of have <laughs> A bit of darkness under my eyes, that's weird. To so conceal my blemishes, I'm gonna use MAC Studio Fix Concealer in... Studio Finish Concealer in NC15. It's amazing for blemishes. How on there. Some redness. On the nose. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the brows. Her brows, as you can see, are very natural. They, they look like they're slightly darkened and penciled in, but they are still kept very natural. You can see every single hair. So I'm gonna use my Art Deco eyebrow pencil in number six. First of all, I should brush them in place. And I'm just gonna fill in the more spar uh, sparse areas and elongate them slightly. The natural shape of her brows is kept. So I'm not gonna go crazy with my brows. Now to set them in place and give some more color, I'm gonna use this Lumen Tinted Eyebrow Gel, which I always use. And just brush them neatly. Moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown Cream Eyeshadow in the color Stone 24. Looks like that. It's a nice matte brown color and I'm gonna use it as a base for my eyeshadow to stick I want to stick better onto the eyelid. So just like that, over the lid, all over the lid. I use it on its own for my everyday makeup actually. It just gives a nice warm brown hue to the eyelid. Chanel Mystic Eyes Eyeshadow Quad. Which looks like that. I'm gonna take an eye eyeshadow brush like that. And I'm gonna take this brown color here to put in my crease. Because when I checked other pictures, she has a dark brown shade in her crease. The eyeshadow is not brought out. No, it's just kept like that. There's no like head shape. And she has a lot of it under the eyes. 
so like that in the crease and under the eye I need to zoom in She has a darker shade just along the lash line. I'm gonna take this very dark color here with this kind of pointy brush and just run it close to my lashes. Like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take a brown eyeliner. This is by Chanel and it's called Espresso. And it's just a dark brown matte eyeliner. I'm gonna put it along my lashes. To intensify it. most important step to curl my eyelashes. I'm gonna use brown mascara by Yves Saint Laurent. It is singular. The eyes are done. Now I'm gonna powder my skin with Chanel's Poudre Universelle, um, which looks like that. Just to take all of the shine away. Her face is not completely matte, it kind of looks natural, there's still some shine coming through. So this powder I think it's perfect because it's just gonna set the makeup, it's not gonna mattify your skin too much. Okay, now onto the blush. It is. The blush is very neutral, so I'm gonna use my NARS Douceur blush, which looks like that. I think it's absolutely perfect for this look. As you can see, it's placed um, on her cheekbone. So I'm gently swiping the blush like that. It's kind of intense here, like that. The last step is the lips and the lips again are not too glossy, not matte, they look natural but in the neutral color and I think this is the most perfect thing. This is Clinique Chunky, Chunky, uh, not Chunky, this is Chubby Stick in the color Hola the Honey which I talked about a lot in number two and it's just a neutral, very neutral color. I think it's such a perfect color for this look. Because it is like a neutral colored lip balm basically. So yeah, this is my final product. I'll zoom in. Here you can see the comparison with Kira's makeup. I'm obviously blonde and not with dark brown eyes, so it looks different. 
but I love this look I think it is so sophisticated and so you know it's appropriate to any occasion for evenings out for events I don't know it's just very glamorous because the eyes are so sultry and the earthy tones the lips everything is natural but kind of I don't know elegant very Chanelish hope you guys enjoy that try recreating it yourself it's super duper simple use whatever products you have you don't have to use Chanel obviously just use warm tones um, and yeah hope you like my tutorial and I'll talk to you in my next video bye